coming to the applications of sentiment analysis, it is used in various applications like uh, if you take brand monitoring. So here, sentiment analysis, it uh, enables the businesses to keep track of sentiment surrounding their brand as well as competitors in the market. So by monitoring sentiment trends over time, companies they can identify various crises and address negative sentiment. With that, they can maintain positive brand image. And if you take uh, the social media monitoring, so companies they are using the sentiment analysis in order to monitor various platforms like it can be either Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. So all the social media sites in order to to understand about their brands, products or services and analyzing the sentiment. So why they need to analyze the sentiment in social media posts? Because it allows the businesses to understand public perception or they can identify the trends and manage their online reputation. And the third one is sentiment, uh, sorry, third one is customer feedback analysis. So it mainly helps the businesses analyze the customer feedback. So they can use various sources like uh, uh, it can be through surveys or emails or chat transcripts and call center interactions. So by categorizing the feedback, so they'll take the feedback and categorize that into positive, negative or neutral. And with that, companies can prioritize areas for improvement. So if they received negative sentiment for put one particular feature of a product then they'll analyze that particular area they'll focus on that feature for improvement and address customer concerns effectively then we have political analysis so how to use this uh, sentiment analysis in political analysis so it is mainly used in political campaigns and also public opinion research. So it actually helps them to analyze public sentiment towards the political candidate. So we can make predictions uh, regarding which party gets majority of the voting with this uh, sentiment analysis. So by analyzing the social media conversations uh, and uh, news articles or public speeches, analysts, they can cause voter sentiment and predict election outcomes. And the next one is healthcare and feedback. So sentiment analysis, so it is used in healthcare mainly to analyze patient feedback. So how can he collect patient feedback? So it can be through surveys. Okay. Or uh, we can take uh, reviews of healthcare providers and social media discussions related to health conditions and treatments. So regarding all these things, analysis can be performed using sentiment analysis. And why this information is required? In order to inform healthcare providers about patient satisfaction, quality of care, and areas of improvement. So there are few more applications like product and service reviews. You can, you, you, so all of us are using e-commerce platforms. Right. So e-commerce platforms and review websites, they mainly use the sentiment analysis to analyze product and service reviews submitted by the customers. So by aggregating the sentiment data of businesses, they can identify popular products and uh, they can understand customer preferences and improve product offerings. This is how sentiment analysis is used in various applications in our real life.